Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As I promised last week, on today's video, I will show you how to unlock your Redmi Note 8 Pro or any other Xiaomi device. The procedure are the same. What you need? A fully charged phone your SIM card with a data line and a PC that a must without PC you can't unlock your phone bootloader so the first thing you need to do to go to my device tap the MI version 7 times To enable the developer option, okay, back now go to additional setting. Now the developer option are there, okay. OEM unlocking ticket, enable USB debugging. So go to me unlock status. Permission required. Agree. Okay. At the moment, my device are locked. Okay. To unlock it, you must add account and device. So tap here. Couldn't verify. Try it again. verify sign in there's my account the account already sign in okay don't worry I the proper option or em unlocking the unlock okay you add in your account and then reboot to fastboot either you off your phone or using your PC to reboot that's two option off and then on back while holding the minus button the volume down hold it and push the power button but on this video, I will show you another way. First, connect your USB cable to your phone and to your PC. Okay. The ADB file, I will give you uh, the whole folder, there is a link below, this is a must, the minimal ADB, the Android debug bridge, and another tool, me flash unlock tool, you need this too. So, the first one, Put your cursor inside the folder. Hold the button shift on the keyboard and right click on your mouse. Open PowerShell window here because I'm using Windows 10. You can use any window, Windows 7. Okay, over here. Let me check my device. ADB. Whether it connected, ADB device. Yes, my device are connected to my PC. This is the device ID. So I want to put to fast put. 
ADB reboot boot loader now should uh, already the port already in the fast boot mode okay you can close this one open the mid flash too need flash unlock over here you need to log in to your account the same account you log in to your phone okay I don't, don't want to show you Sign in to that account. Okay. And one more thing. When you unlock your bootloader, your phone will be erased. That means it doing a factory reset. All your data inside are gone. So make sure you back up everything, your picture, whatever video you got inside, the, the rest, the app, no need. Okay. You can see over here. I hope you can see. Click unlock. There's a warning message here. Unlock anyway. Unlock it anyway. Okay, we wait. For unlocking this Redmi Note 8, you have to wait for 168. Okay, the phone reboot now. We unlock it successfully. Yeah. So, the pipeline already reboot. It's now doing a factory reset. 168 hours that means 7 days from the day you start add your account to unlocking wait for 7 days then do it again now the device are unlocked what the benefit well A lot of things. The first benefit. custom ROM so you don't have to use the MIUI if you don't like the MIUI OS you can choose other OS the custom ROM pixel experience AOSP nitrogen OS the NOS whatever OS you like that's your choice Now it resetting to factory like the your first time when you switch on your device this is what you do Bahasa Melayu this is where my locality I'm from Malaysia in this US say 
Come on, focus. What happened to this point? Okay, focus. So my region are Malaysia. Connect to my Wi-Fi. After this, we flash the recovery and do a backup on your NVRAM partition. What is NVRAM? That's a partition for your IMEI number. Without that thing, if that uh, partition corrupt, your phone will be unusable. Or for Qualcomm device, the EFS partition. Log into my Google account. Agree. Now, except I hope nobody calling me during the video shooting because this is my main SIM card. I got other SIM card, my data line. This is a Unify VB. So Log into my me account. I don't use me cloud. I don't sync my data over there. This one is up to you. You better use it in case you lost your device. Oh, got stolen. Classical. Yay, we, uh, we unlock. All my app, oh sorry, all my app are gone. I have to re-download it back, reinstall. You can re, you can back up your app using a backup tool. Okay, setup complete. Oh, yo. what is that? All my Google is still there. There's, there is a way how to develop the remove the unwanted Google app. Okay, let me check my unlock status. Time tap the MUI version <coughs> to enable the developer option. <coughs> developer option, okay. Enable USB debugging because we want to install the. Now my device are unlocked. Before this, it is it is locked. Now. We install the TWRP.
ว่าอ่าโฟลเดอร์ I will give you this is a uh, already compress include the recovery for Redmi Note 8 Pro and for other device you search the recovery for the particular device the procedure to unlock it are the same so one again I open the power cell here, the command prompt. A D B. So my device uh, is connected. So A D B. Reboot. Boot loader. Now it rebooting to passport. Okay. If you want to check whether it connect to the device, passport device. Same. The ID are the same. So you, if you want to see the partition for the MTK partition. What the the partition inside the phone? Passport. Get. Wa. Oh. So this is the partition. So many partition there. If you corrupt one of them, that means your phone are put loop. Oh, the other word. They say it uh, soft brick. You see how many petition there. The this is the size. Can you see it? Okay, you can see it. Uh, enlarge the font size to twenty eight. Okay. Hope now you can see. Custom partition. The this partition contain the your region. Let's say your your region are stuck in a China. You can change your region to any other country. That means your Custom partition are gone already, so you have to press the custom partition via passport. That's the safe way to do it. Don't use MTK flash tool. Don't use me flash tool. If you don't know how to use it, that's very dangerous. Okay, now we are flashing the recovery. So pass boot flash recovery. What are the recovery type? This is a pass boot. This is the command. Flash recovery, flash boot, flash whatever one you flash, and the file name space. The file name ah recovery. Dot img. Okay, enter. Now it's writing a recovery. Okay, now you want to boot the device to recovery. It's writing okay. 
fast food free food free recovery uh oh what happened here We do it manually. Hold the plus button, volume button, and oops, volume up, volume plus, and the power button together. Release the power button, still holding the volume plus. Ah, the Chinese recovery. Something wrong with this recovery. First thing you need to change the language English English Chinglish Okay Now we do a backup Backup Your data don't need to backup Okay put image also you can backup Where's the this one? and vram and vram the rest not so important you can replace it back by uh, because the file are the same except the nvram that's one this partition are unique every pawn got its own nvram your boot in case you are boot loop when flashing uh, uh, magis you can press back the put put image okay I select my storage where I want to back up it so micro SD card now back up And another thing, if you don't flash uh, magis, if you boot back to your system, the stock recovery will override the TWRP. I don't mind, I can refresh back the recovery. What I want is my backup my nvram so where are my backup my manager inside my SD card TWP yeah this is my backup the boot and VRAM after this I copy this one this folder to my PC for backup okay that's it after this, I try to root my device. 
and try to push this pawn to the limit maybe we can unleash the beast inside the pawn okay that's it if you have any question just leave a comment below and once again thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video